Time to start the next story. Penny, are you okay? I don't think Beatrix can hear me anymore. She can only see me some of the time. She's so afraid I should have never let her out of my sight. She should have never come to Hogwarts. We should have never messed with the Coast Vaults. We are going to save her, Penny. How can you be so sure? Because we won't stop trying until she's safe. I was so worried about doing well on my potions owls, but now I don't even care. How can I take how do how can I care about anything but my sister? I don't know what I'll do if I lose her. You won't it feels like she's already gone. Thank you for being here for, for me today. I do feel any do you feel any better? I but I don't think I'll ever really feel away until Beatrix is safe. I hate seeing you like this. There has to be something I can do to help you. I suppose there is something you can do. Meet me in the full school. Meet Penny. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you trying to make me feel better. What are you redoing in the full school? Searching for unicorn horn. Why? I I only know of one way to make you s myself feel better while we walk out. How to save Beatrice? I just need the proper ingredients. People hunt unicorns in the Forbidden Forest. I don't think anyone would be evil enough to kill a unicorn, but they die of natural causes, and I'm sure they are sometimes eaten by beasts like trolls and ant archimangelos. It's pos probably hopeless. Nothing is ever hopeless. Lumos. I'm sure we'll find a unicorn horn. I found a unicorn horn. We m meet me in Transfiguration Classroom to get the next ingredient. What ingredient are you looking for in Transfiguration Classroom? Pokemon quills. I was hoping to find a Pokemon sand, so we use them sometimes. They are not very shiny. I doubt Wake Pick Sniffler will be of much help. Well, I missed him, and he's quite resourceful. He helped me find all sorts of things last year. Now that I think of it, McGonagall taught us to turn a Pokemon into a pin cushion in our second year. And then pins in the those cushions are pretty glittery. If we can find a pin cushion, I should be able to change it back. Do you think you can find a pin cushion? Perfect, let's start searching. I found a pin cushion. I couldn't have done it without your help, Sicklesworth. Can you turn the pin cushion back into a porcupine? I can try. Page. You did it. You two sick oath. I'll collect the Pokemon curls. You should try and find someone who can get us powdered moon mo moonstone. Were, were you able to get the powdered moonstone? I had to promise a couple of favors to a guy I know in Nocturne Alley, but I got it. After we do our work, Pitts has his beady little eyes on you. Here's your powdered moonstone. Why do you need it? I'm helping Penny gather a bunch of potion ingredients. Sounds like a lot of work. Why are you helping Penny? I've never told anyone this, but I fancy her. She's brilliant and brave and beautiful. You f should tell her how you feel. Thanks again for the powdered moonstone. Good luck helping Penny find the rest of the ingredients.
Professor Spurs covering hell helly bowls today. Soap of hell bowl is the last ingredient I need for potion. I don't know why you're always so nice to me. I fancy you. I don't know what to say. I can hardly think of, about anything else except what's happening with my sister. Maybe we can talk about this once she's safe. Spurs are about to begin the lesson. I got some soup of hellbone. Me too. Let's meet later to brew the potion. Thank you for helping me gather all these ingredients. Of course. Are you finally going to tell me what you are brewing? Draw to piece. It's specifically made... Sp uh, made to relieve anxiety. And I say Madame Pompey administrates it to a lot of students worried about the owls and newts. It may be the only thing that can stop me from going mad until we walk out of the way to save Beatrix. We did it. We brew the perfect batch of the jot a piece. Are you sure you want to drink this? Not sure now that it's in my hands. I want to be able to sleep at and think straight instead of constantly ang 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 uh, agonizing over Beatrix. But if I didn't brew it right, it could be dangerous. Besides, maybe I should be feeling this way. I don't think you should. I know you're worried, but you're strong enough to deal with it on your own. And if anything went wrong, I'd never forgive myself. Besides, you you proved uh, you can handle anything after I told you not to drink the forgetfulness potion. I knew, know you're always watching out for me. You have been dealing with your missing brother for years without using potions to cope. I've always admired your bravery. Thank you again for all your help. I feel the same way I'll always be here for you. We need to walk out a way to save our siblings. I think I know someone who can help. Who? Someone you have never met before. Someone who's devoted his life and his afterlife to helping people. Let's go meet the fat flyer. Can't believe you have never met the Hufflepuff ghost yet. Uh, oh, so, so I'm not Hufflepuff, okay. It seems like he's never around. I see Newly Headless Nick all the time, but I never see the other house ghosts. I feel like it's the opposite for me. Hopefully he knows something that can help us find the next vault. He talks to everyone, from the teachers to the other house ghosts. as So he's always... He always knows what's happening. I go to the fat fire whenever I have an especially difficult problem. One of my favorite Hufflepuffs. I trust you have been helping your classmates to be as kind, joyful, and generous as yourself. But it's been hard with what's happening with my sister. I have no doubt that she is strong enough to preserve until we find a way to help. I hope you're right. I want you to meet Darkos. His sibling is in trouble too. I know who you are. You and your exploits are a regular topic of conversation amongst the ghosts. Do you know anything about the Marauder's Map or a friend of Peeves uh, who ha hated my brother? Don't despair, like you and Penny, the fat fire does not give up easily. Let's discuss. I wish I could provide you with more answers. In confident, however, that if you're searching for a modest map, nearly headless neck can be of help. And Nick is always helpful. He accompanied me on a search through the entire castle once. I sometimes wonder why he was important health puff. I'm certain Nick has made mention of more others before. Fat fire, thinking nothing of it. I'm a health puff. That that is what we do.
What the hell? What are you doing in my brother's room? My fat fire told me you were searching for the Mars map. I was just contemplating the matter within each shot of the Eldest Weasley when he said something quite fascinating. Which reminded me, do you see where this is going? I think so, allow me to make myself completely transparent, not particularly difficult. After the eldest spoke, the middle Weasley said sp something which spurred my re recollective uh, memories, so I'm less in the middle than I am in the oldest. Young Charles mentioned a dragon, which reminded me that the Dark Horse's brother believed there was a dragon somewhere in this castle. Only Dark Horse's brother knows, uh, because only he had a map that revealed the entirety of the Hogwarts. But how does Posey play into that? Uh, I'm fairly certain he just followed us here. The better question is, why did he have to bring that rat? Scabbers is just part of the family. So there's school in the attic, but I don't bring him with me everywhere I go. So you think the Mars map is somewhere in this room? I can't say for certain, but I do believe your brother was in possession push of the map at this time. I doubt anyone could find anything in here with it being so dark and dirty. Lumos! Lumos! Uh, says the book who bought, bought a rat. Let's search the, for the mother's map. Interesting, is that a map? No, it's a letter from my brother's handwriting. Talks about bringing a map to Oliver, Olivia Green. She was a student in your brother's year. I remember her for an exemplary bravery. You would think so, but she's actually Ravenclaw. You should pay a visit to the Grey Lady. Excuse me, Madam Grey Lady. She won't talk to you. So some people think she can't talk at all. She talks to Ravenclaws sometime. Getting her to speak to you for the first time can be difficult. I can talk to her for you. I'm not sure I've heard that maybe she thinks we are brutish. I can talk to her, but I, it may not go well. I accidentally startled her once. She whispered something about the force and floated through the wall. What did you say? She overheard me talking about a trick I pulled on my mom, and she just started sobbing. Neither do I. I tried to apologize, but it only made her cry more. Which one of us should talk? Uh, Tulip, uh, she's clever enough to walk her way out of everything. Excuse me, we wanted to ask you a question about the former Ravenclaw. Olivia Green, we have never met her. Are you talking about my mom when I said I tricked her when I was younger? I didn't, I made it up. I wanted to impress my classmates, make them think I'm more rebellious than I am. There was a girl named Olivia Green. We think she may be friends with uh, my brother Jacob Dane. You can ask me about Olivia, but then you need to leave uh, uh, me alone. Olivia Green is gone along with Jacob Dane. You'll need to speak with uh, uh, the other friends if he's still here. Do you know his name? Duncan Ash. I've never heard of him. Where can I, we find him? Please, we need to find him to find my brother and save my friend's sister. Maybe to save all of Hogwarts. You'll, you will have to see the bloody Baron.
bloody bay on this and so you'd better be let me do the talking because you are so good at getting along with people because unlike you I don't get rattled when things start to go bad. Whoever talks to him needs to be careful even peeves listen to the bloody bayon. Probably because he's bloody scary. I thought of that on my way here and I have been wanting, waiting to say it for a long, a long time. You're like a walking confusion conf concoction. Uh, I like jokes with blood in them. Do you want me to do the talking? I'll talk to Bloody Bear and myself. I'm not afraid. Excuse me. Uh, I wanted to ask you about a Slytherin student named Duncan Ash. What about him? I need to talk to him. I heard he's somewhere in this castle and was hoping you could tell me where. He's dead. Did you kill him? No, he took care of that himself. So he's a ghost too. How to have a conversation with a dead person who isn't. You know where I can find him. I can send you straight to him if you like. No, please. I, I'm not going to hurt you. I just mean I can tell you all about the places he likes to stay. Who said that? Not no one. You said everyone. I am scared. Ask you questions. So Duncan Ash is just friends with Peeves, but he doesn't like to be seen. I should probably try searching the rooms people don't use much. The artifact room, my brother's room, Flitch's room, and Prefix bathroom. Which one should I start with? I understand, but it would be really helpful. Oh, uh, you were so scared. Shut up. It was a, a bloody good time meeting with Bloody Baron. Thank you for helping me look for Duncan Ash. I think I want to find the ghost even more than you do. I can't stop thinking about what Nick said about those being those a dragon inside the castle. I hope uh Duncan Ash uh knows where to find the Mars map. Let's have a look around. There's no sign of him. Maybe he, we should try another room. Maybe he's just afraid of being found. I'm not afraid of anything, least of all you three. Who's asking? Jacob, like Jacob Dan? Yes, he's my brother. I should kill you. If Jacob stayed at Hogwarts, I would have found a way to kill him. Instead, he disappeared like the coward he is. Maybe a lot of things, but he is not a coward. From the day I got sold in until the day I died. He's a coward and a liar and a thief and a thug. He's arrogant, impatient, impulsive, and insecure. Stop it. Leave me alone. Your brother already ruined my life. You don't get to ruin my afterlife. What did Jacob do to ruin your life? I don't understand. Just tell me what happened between you two. You'll have to work it out yourself. You may find that your brother isn't who you think he is. Never got to ask him about the dragon. Besides, it's only my—it's my only chance to get my hands on the Marauder's map. 